everybody. Um, I'm Kobe. You might also know me as Big Poppy. And uh, since I didn't really feel like editing a video at all, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different kind of video today. Uh, I'm just going to record myself talking, um, and I'm going to be putting up some clips throughout the video. Uh, so yeah, basically, I just, I just want to take a chance to kind of catch up with you guys. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, this video is going to kind of be in two parts. Uh, just um, part one, we're going to be just running through a bunch of old clips, things I had never uploaded, uh, but made. And after that, I just kind of want to talk about YouTube in general. You know, maybe you guys can uh, get to know me a little bit better, you know? So uh, we'll just hop right in. Okay, since I'm feeling particularly lazy today, we are literally just going to be screen recording myself um, playing all of these videos. So I hope you guys don't mind. But the first thing I want to go into is this uh, cool little bow I made called the Architect. Um, I think this is like a sort of... Yeah, this is while still in testing. Um, but the basic idea was I was trying to make a bow where your mouse swipes would create a different effect um, based on what you do. So I think the final product is right here. So yeah, when I swipe up, it makes like a cool pillar. Swipe down, makes a platform, make walls. Oh yeah, and then I actually made it have like compound effects where like down and up can make like a uh, hovering platform. Um, oops. And then like up and down can make a bridge like that. Um, yeah, nothing ever really came with the data pack. I don't think it really fits into anything, but, uh, it took a decent amount of work and I thought it was really cool. It was pretty fun to make. I might kind of try using some of the principles I learned from that and something in the future. We'll see. Um, oh, well, let's jump into the enchantments. I'm just gonna kind of jump around here. Uh, this is a, uh, a very weird side project. I kind of like a weird, like rabbit hole I went down and yeah. So the whole idea was. I was trying to make custom enchantments, um, but like actually in the vanilla enchanting table. And a big part of that was being able to get these three levels right here. And that led me, because like you can't get those really through any easy means. And it led down this massive rabbit hole. Yeah, 194,000 commands executed to figure these three numbers out. Um, a giant rabbit hole of like learning how to recreate like bitwise operations um and weird bunch, bunch of weird crap i had to like basically create addition from scratch using commands uh but like because it, it it used numbers that are bigger than commands can normally handle yeah um so that that ended up like leading me into this uh this big old um downward spiral whatever that is i, I think that's just the aftermath of it that took quite the toll on me um what, what next i think we should talk about the chug jug chug jug that was a a very very uh very long project but basically the the basic idea was it, i wanted to have something that could hold a lot of potions and i wanted to use a bundle for the loading mechanism so like you have like the base item here and then when you pick up another item it gets temporarily converted into a bundle and you can kind of throw potions in there um so that's like that was like a work in progress point uh here was when I finally got like a, a working texture and I, I kind of had it so it would uh, adjust the color and stuff based on whatever potions you put in. Oh yeah, and uh, the level in it kind of adjusts as, you know, the more you drink. So I had like a sort of dynamic texture. I thought that was pretty cool. And then here's the final show off um, where I added like a little loading mechanic where you can load every potion in your inventory at once if it's in your offhand. And it has like a custom little... Uh, Drinking animation now. Yeah. Um, overall, honestly, I might say this chug jug is probably like my proudest data pack. Like, I feel like it's my cleanest made. Um, I think it fits really well in survival play. And, you know, it was quite quite the pain making it, but I think it was a, it was a good payoff. Um, I just never ended up making a video on it because, I don't know, laziness, I guess. And, ooh, we'll talk about the raft one next. Um, so this was, I think, yeah, this was the first test, uh, with like making it move. Uh, but basically the idea was, this is kind of an idea I've had for just a game in general for a really long time is, I guess just a survival game where you're stranded in the ocean and you got to try to like build a, you know, build your own raft and expand it with the things you find. I, I feel like it's a really cool concept and I wanted to prototype it in Minecraft. Uh, so I got it so like I had a sort of platform that moves with you and you have this base minecart that kind of controls it. And 
yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's just unfortunately, I think a bit too laggy, you know, to really be viable for you know regular gameplay. And there's just clone is a uh, slash clone is very glitchy, which is what I'm using for this, and it ends up leading to a lot of issues. Like if you have redstone on it, um, it'll glitch out pretty much every time you move, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, ooh, ooh, this is a, a fun little project. Uh, so I was experimenting with low gravity. This is actually kind of, I guess, my first, you know, baby steps into player motion stuff, except this was levitation based. Um, I was trying to like reverse engineer levitation to try to get low gravity effects. Um, and then I used that in a, uh, data pack competition where I was like going to be a, a low gravity field block. Except, oh, I just closed it all out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I wasted the entire time in the uh, competition making this particle effect. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> I literally, I wasted the entire time that I could have been working, like, you know, making, like, actual content, just making this one effect. And I regret nothing. This thing is awesome. I mean, like, look at this. Mmm. Yeah, no regrets there. Um, and since we touched on the whole player motion thing a little bit, I think we'll step into Delta now, which is a, uh, a library I made and it basically uses a, uh, uses creeper explosions to, uh, get like player motion effects. And it uses a lot of like really funky tricks with like using advancements for sub tick timing or whatever. I'll, I'll definitely make a video on this going into more detail later, but. The basic idea is that player motion is kind of possible now. I mean, look at that. And actually now with Slash Ride, uh, we have even better player motion capabilities. I'll probably step into that a little bit more later. Um, oh yeah, this is uh, me showing off how I got it. So even if you're next to something, I got it so the creeper explosion doesn't push other things. Which, yeah, I'm really proud of that. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's, let's, let's look at, uh, the mega shulker boxes now. Um, so it, I think a lot of you are probably familiar with that. I've never really showed it on this channel, but yeah, basically the idea is that it's a block that can store structures in it. Um, and here was me getting it to work with jockeys, which was an absurdly like hard endeavor. <laughs> They're really stupid reasons. Um, basically certain limitations commands just make it really hard to do this and i had to use like spawner minecarts that that are like at the bottom of the world to spawn in the entities and it was just really weird um let's see what do we got here oh yeah this is an older clip just kind of showing what it does you place it down it stores that structure boom pretty neat uh oh here's me getting it to work with arrows you know made a little shotgun I thought that was pretty cool. And you, you can't deny that. that's cool. Um, and here we got it. Oh yeah, I got a little mushroom station. So yeah, I'm really excited about this data pack, uh, getting it more polished and stuff. Um, I haven't touched it really in a while. Oh yeah, here I have it like with a lit creeper. And then when it places it back down, the creeper's still lit. Another shotgun again. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for the uh, capabilities of this data pack. Um, it's just that there's a lot of, like, technical issues that you gotta solve. There's a lot of weird edge cases you gotta account for to get everything to work correct correctly. Um, just because Minecraft's commands are very limited. Um, I'm not sure what this screenshot is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, uh... I, I basically spent quite a while making a, a giant loot table. I won't go into all the details now. I don't want to bore you all. But it, I just thought it was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> and let's see. What do you guys think? We, we, we want to go into MISC or Wave Defense first? We'll go Wave Defense. So this is my most recent project. Uh, this is just a little particle animation that I'm using for it. I ended up updating it a little bit later. But that's going to be like... Basically what the idea is, it's going to be a uh, Wave Defense kind of game. Oh, this is me working on the custom combat system. But, uh, here we go. This this should show, uh, so it's going to be a wave defense kind of game. You know, like, horde the zombie spawning. 
but it's going to have building mechanics like this. Um, here's me building a little base that ends up looking like Among Us. Uh, not intentional. <laughs> uh, but the, the idea is it's going to be a kind of like cooperative wave defense. Like, I really want it to be heavily movement focused, actually. So plan on adding things like wall running, um, you know, grappling hooks and stuff. And yeah, I have a lot of really fun ideas for it. Just, uh, you know, it's going to be more of a long term project. Here's me working on a little destruction system. You know, when you take out the bottom, everything else collapses. Um, yeah. And I think that's all I got to show for that. And now on to the miscellaneous. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, and I just closed that again. All right. And we are in miscellaneous. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this screenshot is. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it was a while ago when I put all these clips and everything in here. Um, oh, this one's a little funny one. This isn't like an actual project. This is literally just like one command. But I thought that was kind of funny. That I, I figured out you can leash anything to anything else. So I made an arrow that leashes things. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, oh, yeah. Here's a little meteor strike bow I made for my cousin. Um, yeah, there's like a little orbital laser thing. And it's like... Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty fun to make. And here, oh, Spush. Spush is a masterpiece. Um, so this is right after I made my player motion system. This is kind of the first test run of it. Um, and the idea is it's kind of like Splatoon, but your paint like pushes people back. And you are uh, trying to knock the other person off the edge. And you can use it to move yourself. So I'm like using it to make a little like bounce pads for myself. And then I'm like trying to knock my friend off here. Uh, I think it's a really, really fun concept, has a lot of potential. Um, I don't really have any plans on, like, working on it anymore right now, though. All right, so that kind of wraps up the uh, Minecraft part of the video. If you're just here for the cool command stuff, then uh, adios. I'll see you later. I um, appreciate you stopping by. And but for those of you who, uh, I don't know, maybe want to stick around a little bit, I think I just want to talk about, I don't really have much of a script planned here or anything, but... Um, I think I'll just like kind of, you know, share some of my thoughts about, you know, doing Minecraft stuff, YouTube, all that. Um, I think a good place to start is if you are in the Discord server, you might know that I'm kind of taking a break from Minecraft right now. And so I just kind of want to explain why that is. Um, first, like most surface level reason is that I'm doing a, a challenge with some friends right now that uh, part of that is, you know, abstaining from unnecessary electronic use. So that's kind of a surface level reason, but, um, you know, as to like why I'm even making that commitment in the first place, I think, uh, it stems from, I really, really, really like making Minecraft stuff. I really like programming. I just really like to create, you know, I'm like constantly having ideas and like, I just want to make thing after thing. And, you know, I'm working on one thing. And I'm already planning out the next and it's just kind of, um, nonstop, but I think it gets to a certain point where, uh, that kind of consumes you, you know, like. It, it can get to a point where it's kind of excessive. And sometimes I feel that I'm getting to that point. And that's just not the person I want to be. I don't want to be the person who's consumed by their creations and the process of creation. I think um, for a while there, I, I started getting into um, sort of a mindset that what I do is bad, um, in a sense. You know, I, I started trying to, like, thinking, like, I, I don't see any good coming from this like how am i really contributing to the world by making these data packs by making these youtube videos um you know people always pull out the excuse like oh your youtube videos are making people happy and it's like am i really like am i making anyone's lives any better with these youtube videos i feel like if anything i'm i'm feeding into a machine that's just making people's lives worse you know if you have people that are just kind of chronically addicted to youtube and i think it's kind of a a mind-numbing sort of, I guess, like, opiates, you know, for the people. That's a, I don't know if that's a weird analogy. Like, it, it's something that we use to distract ourselves from real life. And while uh, entertainment's good, you know, it's it's good to have silence. And I, I, I sometimes wonder if I'm contributing to that constant barrage of noise. Um, 
And like as far as the data packs themselves, it's like if people are just gonna play them, they're gonna have a bit more fun playing Minecraft. But I'm not really having any tangible impact on people's lives. And that 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 sort of mindset, like it, it got really discouraging because then there was a very big clash between you know what I saw as good and what I wanted to do. And um, you know, there's a bit of a a uh, learning process there, you know, talking to some friends about some things. And I'm I'm sort of coming to that realization that, you know, my creative desires are a good thing. Um, you know, we are made to create. And um, but we are meant to engage with them, you know, in a way that's that's good. And I, I'm I'm starting to see now, like I actually uh talked to a friend who is uh he knows Ninja's brother, apparently. <laughs> I did not know this until like a couple of weeks ago. He knows Ninja's brother. And um but his whole thing is that, you know, trying to figure out how he can use streaming as a a force for good, like live streaming. And he plays Fortnite, but like he you know, trying to draw that sense of community out of it and bring people together and like spread that good. Um so I've been doing a lot of like, you know, reflecting on that lately. Um and I'm I'm starting to see that there is good that can be brought from from this, you know, the, all this YouTube stuff, all this data pack stuff. But I still am at a point where it, I get kind of obsessive over it. Um, I, I kind of let it consume me. And I, I think I need to learn how to temper that and engage with it in a way that's that's good and healthy. So, um, yeah, I'm taking a step away from Minecraft stuff right now. I, I am allowing myself to do a little bit on Sundays. Uh, just to like, you know, instead of going full cold turkey, uh, I'm allowing myself to just have a little bit so I can, uh, so I can learn how to engage with it in a good way. So it's not like as soon as I stop this, uh, this little challenge, I'm going to go right back into it and just, you know, way too much time every day, you know, cranking out the, uh, scoreboard commands. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I'll, next time I want to talk about YouTube a little bit. Like, why don't I upload more? Cause I'm, I'm. Always, I, I mean, you saw in this video, I'm creating a lot of stuff. Uh, and honestly, I think it kind of partially stems from a, a sort of perfectionism, really, where every video I make, um, I really want it to be perfect, and I'm not perfect. So that, that you know, kind of gives me a lot of stress. And that's why I think making this video right here is good for me, because, you know, it's going to be very, very... Oh, now the fan turns on. I hope that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be very, very imperfect. Wait, actually, that was really good timing. Like, the fan turned on right as I'm talking about it being perfect. Like, what are the odds of that? Um, anyways, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, I, I tend to, uh, I guess just, I really want to make every video the best I can be, because I don't want it to be, like, just, you know, oh, well, I guess part of it's, like, I don't want it to just be mind-numbing content that, People just, you know, consume, consume, consume. But I, I also don't want it to be, uh, I, I think I kind of stress out over, like, analytics and stuff. And I want people to watch these videos because I spend so much time making these things. And it's like, you know, I want people to enjoy them. And maybe that's a little bit selfish of me. I don't know. But I, I think it, it, I kind of stress over that too much. Like, you know, I need to uh, make sure every second is filled with something engaging so i don't i'm not having people click off the video and that's probably not a very good thing but um that's not the kind of content creator i want to be um i want to be able to do stuff like this you know just talk to you guys and i want to have an audience that's able to just sit down you know take some quiet for a little bit instead of the constant rapid fire you know jump cuts every two seconds and that those kind of videos where you have the the constant like editing it takes a lot of effort to make and which i mean i put a lot of effort into the data facts themselves so like the relative effort of like the video to the creation like it's usually like that, that ratio is a uh, pretty low but i i really don't enjoy editing <laughs> i'm just gonna say i don't i don't enjoy editing videos um i, I enjoy making the stuff but that making the actual editing process isn't something that really excites me. And maybe that's part of that's the software I use. I use like some jank software called Shotcut. So I might try switching that up in the future. Uh, 
but yeah, that's just not really something that, you know, gets me all excited. So then, you know, you have that, like just kind of aversion to editing, I guess. And so I'll have, I'll spend all this time, like three months making a freaking chug jug. And then I can't spend a day or two making a video on it <laughs> because I just don't like editing, um, which is pretty stupid. I I'm aware, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys some sort of explanation as to why I don't upload that much. Um, I do post post the stuff I'm working on in my Discord quite a bit, so probably put a link in the description. Um, I've had people like recommend doing shorts. I don't know uh, if that style of content is for me, but that definitely would be a lot easier to make. I definitely feel like I'm kind of given into the uh, the system, though. If I'm, you know, if I start making shorts, I feel like I'm uh, bowing down to the algorithm a little bit. Hmm. I'm not sure if I got anything else to say. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, but I guess you know I'll, I'll just uh, end this off by saying thank you, because uh, I've been blessed with you know a very awesome community with all you guys. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with almost 2,000 subscribers <laughs> and where you guys all came from, but. Um, even though I, I don't think an online community can be a substitute for real, you know, real human connections in person. Um, I think there's something very special about how we can all come together over this shared interest. Um, I think there's something very beautiful about that. And I'm just really appreciative that I have all you guys, you know, to talk about this stuff with. And for maybe the two of you that are still listening by now. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, just seriously, thank you guys. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you have a great day. Um, stop watching YouTube. Do something else. Go fix your life. See ya.